A journalist in America has had his Twitter account suspended after he criticised NBC's Olympic coverage and then disclosed the email address of one of its senior executives. Bit of an overreaction though, I mean what's the worst that could happen? In fact, feel free to email me, tom at theroast.com.au. Oh, a fan. Stop emailing abuse! Well, why would you print these out? Now, the journalist was annoyed by NBC's delayed broadcast of the opening ceremony, as well as them cutting the tribute to the 2005 London bombing victims and replacing it with an old interview between Ryan Seacrest and an American bonging victim. And so the bitter Twitterer let his thumbs do the talking. And his thumbs said, the man responsible for NBC pretending the Olympics haven't started yet is Gary Zenkel. Tell him what you think. And then his thumbs listed Mr Zenkel's email address, to which Twitter replied, account suspended. Yes, NBC filed a complaint and Twitter agreed to suspend the account, noting that it's a violation of Twitter's rules to post the private and confidential information of others. Also, if you do have to abuse someone, Twitter would much prefer you use Twitter and not email. But it's not just thumbs that are furious. People are outraged that NBC managed to get this tweet censored altogether. But that's just because NBC formed a partnership with Twitter for the Olympics. You see, these sorts of shadowy corporate deals happen all the time. For instance, The Roast has a partnership with Harsons Brand Loungewear, which is why we censor all negative comments about Harsons Brand Loungewear. Yes, Harsons Brand Loungewear. Because if it's not Harsons, it's not Harsons Brand Loungewear. Well, thanks for watching The Roast. Oh, censor that quick, we'll lose our sweet, sweet Harsons brand loungewear money!